This is Goody Reader News with Michael Kozlowski. One of the big trends of 2014 has been not the consumer e-reader market, but aiming your products at the business and corporate world. Sony has done this with the DPT-S1, otherwise known as the Sony Digital Paper. Sony famously abandoned the consumer segment altogether, closing their international bookstores and ceasing the production of consumer-related products. Instead, they're marketing it at schools, libraries, and corporate world. Pocketbook has similarly been making products to aim at specific niche markets. The Pocketbook CAD Reader has been one product that we've been tracking since about last year. They went back to the drawing board and they came up with a second generation prototype that looks especially compelling. The Pocketbook CAD is now a 13.3 inch e-reader, exact same as the dimension wise as the Sony digital paper and it's actually made a Mobius technology now. So you're going to see it as thin and as lightweight as the DPT S1 here. Let's look at some of the specs. It's going to be 1600 by 1200 for the resolution and it has a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor along with 512 MB of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage. This e-reader is actually flexible. It's made with uh, with rubber housing so it's actually more flexible than the Sony model and it incorporates uh, technology that will eliminate fingerprints on the front and the back of the screen which I find especially interesting. Now this e-reader is not just aimed at corporate users but it's aimed at anybody involved in CAD hence the name Pocketbook CAD. Now CAD is mainly done with Autodesk, it's mainly used for architecture, for 3D modeling, game development, and anything that really involves uh, 3D prototyping whether it's uh, people using MakerBot technology or anybody involved in the 3 space. Now Pocketbook was showing this at Autodesk University in Las Vegas and we're hoping that they're going to be able to show it at CES in Vegas early next year. Uh, this e-reader or, or you know CAD reader I think is, is very interesting. It really solidifies the industry shift from consumer electronics to aiming products at the corporate base which we've never really seen in the e-reader sector before and being able to be aimed at a market that has otherwise been untapped by the conventional e-reader market is I, I find that amazing because one of the big advantages of e-readers or e-paper technology in general is it gives you about a month of battery life and you could use it in direct sunlight. You can't really use a tablet in direct sunlight because you can't actually see what's on a screen. If you've seen any of our outdoor tests with e-readers and tablets, the e-reader is perfect resolution and perfect screen clarity when you're outside. Even with direct sunlight, with a tablet, it becomes so, you can't even really read what's on the screen because of the, the glare. So that's the obvious benefit. So Pocketbook is hoping that people are gonna be able to bring this on job sites, be able to bring it outdoors to condo developments that are under construction and being able to actually show blueprints and plans to the foreman and to the workers on site. It rumored to be between five and six hundred dollars, and it, from this point, it's only going to be able to be read CAD files and PDF files. There's really no uh, word right now whether it's going to be able to read EPUB files, FB2, Deja, or anything like that. Keep following Goody Reader. We're going to continue to cover this story for GoodyReader.com. My name is Michael.